let's talk about champagne. Well, welcome back. Thank you. You know, you left me to have to do a review by myself last week. I did not. You totally did. You could have waited for I, me. They expect reviews from us. They, I had to get a review out. You had to. I had to. You couldn't wait for me. No! I, I had a stomach bug. I could <sighs> not drink champagne with a stomach fine, bug. <laughs> fine, fine. It was a good it was a good review. As a matter of fact, I reviewed the first champagne that I really really fell in love with. It was the Frank Bonville's uh, Blanc de Blanc Brut, and it was it was very good. It was very good. Mm. Um, but good. hopefully, hopefully you'll enjoy this one. Now, mm. for this week, I decided to kind of expand on a little concept I had a little while ago mm -hmm. of champagnes under $50. What? Yep. No. They exist. No. Well, of course they exist. <laughs> Are they worth drinking? No, that that's the that's the question. Uh -huh. Now, I will say this. I have had this before. Okay. Okay. And I don't remember what I thought about it. Well, Considering that we are really encouraging people to embrace everyday bubbly, mm -hmm. right? Drinking champagne all the time, whatever, not just for special occasions. It would be good if we could recommend some that are under $50. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Otherwise, this can be a very expensive habit. Yes, yes it could. <laughs> and uh, I, I found one and I, if memory serves, it's not that bad. So this is Champagne Montice. Mm. And this comes from an interesting place. This comes from the Valley de Marne. Okay, I'm trying to remember where is that. So think of uh, think of the Cote de Blanc. Yes. Which is going to be so the Valley de Marne is going to run uh, horizontal. Okay. To France, and it's going to be the westernmost part of the region. Got it. And it's going to be situated between uh, the Cote de Saison and the Cote de Blanc. Okay. Okay. Um, so it. On the eastern side, you're going to get more of a Cote de Blanc mm -hmm. kind of, but then on the western side, you're going to really enter into Meunier territory. Ooh. Yes. Now, the Montis is a 60% Meunier. No way. It is a 60% Meunier. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 40% Chardonnay. Okay. Yum. Okay. okay. Uh, it, for a bottle of champagne under 50 bucks, it's aged for three years. That's a long time. It's a long time. I'm surprised. Yeah. It's, it's. Wow. I, 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 it, it, it's got all the components. Yes. It's got all the right components. So I think now we should just open her up and, yeah. and uh, see what, uh, ooh. It, it, I'm hopeful. I am hopeful. <laughs> like everything sounds amazing. It does. I, 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 uh, I'm not, I'm not approaching it with trepidation. I am approaching it with, wow, like hidden gems. I love yes. hidden gems. This All could right. be one of them. This could be one of them. So here we go. Let's. That was well pressurized. It was. <laughs> it was. Always ladies first. Why, thank you, sir. Now, right off the bat, the color, mm -hmm. okay, you're getting, the, so this is not a Blanc de Noir, okay? Mm -hmm. This is just a, a, a Brut, but if you look at that color, wow. okay, what you're gonna see, <laughs> which I find very interesting, is it's got a, a, a very like, how would you even describe that? It's 
it's a hint of warmth. Yeah. It's a pale gold, but there's a little bit of a hint of warmth. I don't, it's not quite peach. Right. But it is not just a cool pale gold. And this, this tells me that they've made a decision to, pro I'm, I'm making a guess here that this probably um, is unfiltered. I'm making a guess, it's unfiltered. Okay. Because there's just color to it. Mm -hmm. And that color that we're seeing is coming from those Meunier grapes. Yeah. Okay. So we had you and your husband over a little while ago, mm -hmm. and one of the things we talked about was, you know, where lines of delineation are when it mm -hmm. comes to a style. You know, the, House yeah. A may say, we believe it should be this. House B says, we believe it should be that. Yes. And then out come the sabers. Yeah, people are passionate about Very, that. Yeah. very. Mm -hmm. um, I learned that a saber is not far away at any given moment when you're at a champagne house. Fair, fair. Okay. <laughs> um, that being said, um, I always appreciate any champagne house that respects the grape. Mm -hmm. I always remember there's three grapes. There's the Chardonnay, the Meunier, and the Pinot Noir. Right. Okay. The Chardonnay stands alone. It really does. Mm -hmm. Okay. The Meunier and the Pinot Noir, they're, 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 they're really offshoots of the same thing. One is more robust. One is more... Uh, deeper flavors. Mm -hmm. The other one is a little bit more in between. I've always said that it's like the middle brother between the Chardonnay and Meunier. That's the Pinot. Yeah. Um, and I really appreciate the fact that the Champagne is highlighting that with its color. That mm -hmm. they, they did not remove that. That they are allowing that Meunier to come through. It, it's, it's balanced. It has a roundness to it. You get the bouquet of apple, mm. of peach, of pear. It's so fresh. It is very fresh. On the, uh, on the nose, I, I think it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. it, it is absolutely fantastic on the nose. It is, it's just um, hot summer days out in fields. Yeah. You know, and just, yeah. Mm. It has enough acidity to cut through fatty foods, but at the same time, it has enough fruitiness to it where mm -hmm. it can really stand on its own. I, I, I think that this is a true hidden gem. I, I really do. It, it it's this this is a fantastic champagne for under for under fifty dollars. Mm. Champagne Montis, well done. It is very good. Let's talk a little bit about that nose because I feel like there's definitely the apple. Yes. I mentioned the freshness, the crisp. Mm -hmm. There's walnuts, some dried raspberries, and there's pastry. And usually, I'd say brioche. But not here. Mm -hmm. This is this is a pastry note. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's pastry, but not a sweet pastry. Mm. And yes, mm. honey. This is a very 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 good champagne. Um, I, I've got mm. I've got nothing negative to say about it. The mousse is fantastic. That, that yeah, is just that. beautiful. The color is beautiful. Mm -hmm. It is balanced. It is poised. It is, it is, it has a medium, medium body to it. It's not too much of anything. It doesn't have too much acidity. It doesn't yes. have too much, too much heavy fruit. It is a very balanced champagne. Even the bubbles. There's yeah. enough bubbles that you know you're drinking champagne, but it's not overwhelming. It doesn't go too flat so that you start thinking it's like a wine. Yeah. Even, it is very good. I, I'm. Even its finish has a very, mm -hmm. you know, some. You know, the, 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 there's a long finish. It is a long finish. And, yeah. And and it's okay. It's 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 not like sometimes with me personally with my palate, mm -hmm. the long finish can yield to like a bitterness. Mm -hmm. And I tend I tend to shy away from champagnes that have that really long finish. Yeah. This is pretty pretty good as it's it's on my palate, as it's fading away, it kind of just. Leaves a little bit of a, a, a stringent nature it in my mouth, does, but I'm okay yeah. with that. Yeah, it's okay, and I think it's it's that Meunier because it makes my mouth water, and then I get a little bit of that. Um, what is it? It's the. It's like a, a film, or it's not a film in your mouth, but it's, what do they call it? Uh, it's like a creaminess. Yeah, well, the, you, the, so I don't know how much of this uh, went under malolactic fermentation. The, 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 the malolactic acid is what you're, what you're talking about, mm -hmm. that, that silkiness, that smooth, buttery flavor, or mm -hmm. buttery mouthfeel, that's gonna be malolactic fermentation. I could not find mm -hmm. enough information on it. When I did a little bit of research, as I do about, with everything else, mm -hmm. I couldn't find a lot of technical data on it. Oh, interesting. Yeah. 
So it's very good though. It's very good. From, from, a, from a pairing perspective, this will stand up to heavy foods. This will stand up obviously to salmon. This would be great with oysters. This would be great mm. with, with fish. At the same time, I would, I pair this, believe it or not, I'd pair this with, with good old fashioned barbecue. You going for that summer I flavor, would. right? I would like, like, oh, I I don't really think of champagne with barbecue. But, I, I um, think champagne and barbecue go remarkably well. You think champagne goes with everything. Of course, in every day. <laughs> I think we should try it. I think, I, I most That'd definitely be will be trying that. I was thinking we do a, a roast chicken with like a, a white herb sauce mm. on the side for dipping, and I would definitely pair that with this. And any really like appetizers. Yes. You know, if yeah. you're doing like a big party for people and you want to serve champagne throughout mm -hmm. the evening and it's like an appetizer party, you know, chicken satays mm -hmm. and, or um, kebabs. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, shrimp, that'd be really good. This champagne will stand on its own. Yeah. It'll stand with pretty much anything that you want to pair it with. I mean, like, I, I would avoid spicy food with this. Yes, Definitely I agree. avoid something spicy. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, wow, for $35? I was going to say, yeah, with that price point, yeah. you really can drink it all night long. Yeah. And, and, and now, my personal opinion, mm -hmm. is this an everyday drinker? No. No, I could not drink this every day. Why is that? Um, right now I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Okay. I'm enjoying its fruitiness. I'm enjoying its acidity. I'm enjoying its, its the astringent nature of it, of its, of the Chardonnay. I, I, I'm enjoying it. Okay. I'm enjoying its complexity. Mm -hmm. uh, th 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 this is a great champagne. Mm -hmm. Okay. However, I would get very bored of it. If I, I could drink this tomorrow. Yeah. But after that. You'd want to switch it up. I'd want to switch it up because I my palate gets really burnt out. true of most of your champagnes, though. Because I think you have such a diverse experience with champagne and it's such an advanced palate that I don't think you'd ever want to drink the same champagne every day. No, and I appreciate that. But at the same time, there are champagnes that like I literally could drink every day. Like, uh, really? Yeah, Bernard Lanclos's, uh Blanc de Blanc. Mm, I could drink that all day. That's one of your day. favorites. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I could drink the uh, Tullier Fils's uh, Blanc de Blanc. Mm -hmm. I could drink that all day, every day, and never get, get tired of that. Um, Champagne Mousse, I could mm -hmm. drink that all day. <laughs> I really could, I could drink that. Oh, another one that I could drink all day. Um, one of my all, every day, if, if, I, if I had, and the, he is a partner of ours, mm -hmm. okay? Um, the, 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 the Francis Orban. Mm. You haven't had that yet. Oh my God, that that is 100% Mounier. Oh my That's gosh. That's all he does. Wow. I met the man last year and- That's very unique. Yes, I met the man last year and I said to him, Francis, like, that's pretty unique. He's like, yeah, yeah we Mounier. No, I, I have to say, because the Mounier makes my mouth water. So if it's 100% Mounier, are you just like... That was awesome. <laughs> you're just drooling. But, but you know, and, and you know what? Um, I did a review um, on Francis Orban a little mm -hmm. while ago. And uh, I think, you know, I have, I have a couple bottles of it downstairs. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think it might be a good idea to like do a review with you so you can get that yeah. full experience of like 100% Mounier. Yeah, I think we've done 100% Chardonnay. Oh yeah, that Blanc de Blanc. Blanc de Blanc, yep. we've done that. Yep. But yeah, I've never had 100% yeah. Mounier. Well, we're gonna fix that. All right, well, so we'll that, get the bottle. I know, well, <laughs> that having been said, you know, this, this is, is great. Champagne Montis, very well done. Uh, champagne under 50 bucks. Well, and I think, you know, let us know this, if you like this idea of us sharing bottles of champagne and doing reviews on champagnes that are under $50 because it would meet your party needs or your event needs this summer, let us know in the comments and we'll find some more for you. Definitely. Until next time, champagne every day. Every day. Salut.